Hello and welcome to D2C Revolution with Exchange for Media. Today we are in conversation with Manish Chaudhary, co-founder of Wowskin Science. Hi Manish, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Uh, I would like to dive right in. I was researching about your brand and uh, I got to know you were eyeing 1000 crore revenue by the end of FY26. Uh, yes. What is the blueprint in your mind to achieve the same? Yeah, so obviously you need uh, your co-brand to do well. And obviously your umbrella brands to fire along with it. So I uh, can't say it's keep it simple, but uh, that's your blueprint towards achieving our interim target of 1000 crores. Yeah. Okay. And you've already gone global in the US. Uh, over time, I'm sure your brand must have done a lot of R&D about it. Uh, mm. What do you think? How different is the in Indian consumer from that of the American consumer, especially when it comes to the niche that you cater to? Yeah, so obviously different geographies have different consumers. A uh, lot of a lot of people think out of India think you know that's the India diaspora which is buying your uh, products there, but it's no, it's uh, it's American uh, Latam uh, consumers who are buying your products. So uh, and do remember that uh, the way how we have presented our packaging, our branding, it has a very international touch and feel. So okay. this gives you a little bit, uh, consumers are too, it's a global brand today. Uh, whichever brands you use, even in India are global. So yeah. there's nothing, the playbook continues to remain the same. Uh, though you continue to have different uh, kind of consumers you, you are reaching out to. Uh, there's little or slight changes on formulation in each markets, but uh, just giving you a little bit of a, uh, of, a, of, a of a note is that uh, they're kind of, similar on on the consumer uh, trends right today globally consumers want natural safe uh, as as a starting point and that's something what we are uh, offering to our customers okay great and uh, there's also rising demand for new age screen care brands in tier 2 and tier 3 cities if we speak uh, specifically to india uh, is that a, is that a shift that you are noticing too and uh, what kind of dynamic have you seen there so remember uh, a brand like us which is d2c uh, uh, we cater to 28,000 PIN codes. Obviously, uh, in those PIN codes will be tier 2, tier 3. Uh, tier 2, tier 3 consumers are those consumers who are starving or have less option of good brands which can buy online. So you're targeting them. Uh, also, we realize that uh, T2, T3 cities have much more loyalty because of uh, less options at their end. But loyalty is a lot more, more stronger in these cities. Okay, makes sense. And uh, uh, coming back to the American uh, consumer part, uh, you, can you explain to us that how earlier the brand that you were just telling me, how earlier the brand was uh, earning through indirect source and now it's uh, it's going to be selling directly under the same name. So I would love to know that. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, we our previous arrangements uh, was that the revenues were not collected in India. It was a different entity serving it. Uh, yeah. Over the last couple of months, the international business folds into the India entity. So that also increases our revenues over time. So that's our arrangement, what we are we are building into. Okay, understood. And uh, what is your media mix like when it comes to India, uh, specifically to marketing and branding? How much is digital, print, or H and TV? So uh, I would say that uh, we are just about increasing our ATL budgets, uh, but we predominantly are still very large on online uh, spends as a okay. company. Uh, but remember that we have got a large offline business too, which requires a different medium of advertising, which is ATL, television, okay. uh, which is also uh, a pretty significant amount of spends at our end. Mm -hmm. okay. Makes sense. Uh, moving forward to the uh, festive World Cup election, there's a lot going around in India these days. Uh, all the brands are leveraging the most of it during this time in their own way. Uh, G20 just got done. How is your brand making the most of the festive World Cup election season that's going on? So obviously, uh, we have we have had a phenomenal first phase of uh, sales on digital through Flipkart, Amazon. I think we had an exceptional first phase. I think there are another two, three more phases left. Uh, let's see how that goes. But you know, in our category, we are a personal care brand. Uh, uh, festive is all festive does give you a bump. But it's a consumption story where right throughout the year, consumers like it, they'll keep buying it. But uh, though the festive does give you a bump, we are relying completely on e-commerce 
for our uh, growth this year. So just giving you a little bit, there's uh, there's nothing which we're doing. Obviously, I'm not too sure whether you've seen our latest campaign on vitamin C, which we aired. Yeah, I did. I think uh, that's running on television as well as on digital yeah. YouTube uh, and other uh, channels. Uh, that is something what we are doing. But uh, obviously, we're relying a lot on e-commerce uh, growth at our end from the marketplaces to come from. I'm sure, but you must have seen some kind of jump in the amount of orders that you get, right, uh, during the festive season. And how much would that be in case you can give me an idea? So some marketplaces, we saw a growth of around more than 3x than normal BAU, somewhere around 1.5x. Okay. Uh, so it's been, it's, been a, it's been a pretty interesting first phase. As I told you, there are another two more phases. And yeah. That goes. So it's early to say, but uh, the initial has been pretty uh, promising. Okay. Uh, just the last question. One entrepreneurial tip that you would, uh, that you believe that you would have known as a younger self. Um, uh, mm, tough one for me to think off the fly. I've always believed in fail fast, fix fast, learn, uh, learn fast as a mantra. Okay. I continue to. Believe in that, you know, if you fail, uh, you should really know why you are failing and then try to go and fix it quickly. So uh, it's not a mantra. It's something what I follow. Okay. So side. that is something you'd also tell other young entrepreneurs to I follow. Think, I think you have to learn to fail fast, fix fast. as something that is very important. Without failing, you won't reach where you want to. Well said, well said. And how do you see 2024 for Bob's Consigns? Yeah, so 2024 should be a very interesting year. Uh, we've had a year of consolidation last year uh, where we wanted systems, processes, people uh, to come in place. But looking at getting a high double-digit growth back at our end, uh, we've got an interesting brand called Nature Dharma, which we just launched. Looking at how do we ensure we get growth there. So just it's going to be an interesting time at our end. So uh, that's something which is there. Uh, want to do it properly then uh, take any shortcuts uh, but build something which is solid for the future great I think uh, that was short and sweet we wouldn't keep you long for this uh, thank you so much for this delightful conversation thank and you. stay tuned to D2C Revolution people we will be coming up with more co-founders from D2C startups next week thank, thank you. you so much